Uh, Coach, the volleyball team has had to put up with uh, some injuries this season, just another weekend of the season. Can you give an update with uh, how the new players have excelled in any new roles right now? Um, so Jeannie will go through surgery on Wednesday. Um, Nicole, we're hoping they have her surgery scheduled for her knee um, probably next week or the week after, just waiting on some insurance things. Um, we were able to get um, our concussion back, Amari, so, um, but we just felt with her being out for about a week, uh, we wanted to get her more touches on the ball before she saw action. Um, but, you know, Sunshine, I mean, Kayla Barity, we call her Sunshine, um, she stepped in really well this week, um, and get, it's giving us some points on that right side, and then uh, Messner, Caitlin, um, has done a phenomenal job on that outside. Um, you know, for a while there, um, she just found ways to score against Concordia and uh, Mankato by tooling. And so she's becoming a really smart player. And so those two have really had to step up and, and produce some points for us. So, um, you know, that Barker is ready to go in when we need her um, this week. You know, we may have to run a 6-2, so we'll be using even more of our hitters. Um, so, uh, but I think the way the younger kids have stepped up and haven't skipped a beat has been really awesome. Well, this weekend, um Another, you know, right there performance. You take one Friday night. In fact, uh, you know, what can you say? Your team still continues to make those strides and right on the edge. You, you know, they have. They continue to be right there and they continue to work. And like I told the girls, you know, last year was always like, oh, it was our hitting or it was our serve receive or our defense wasn't good. Afterwards, it's like, hey, our serve receive was there. Our defense gave us chances and our hitting was getting us points. Um, what we've been harping on the girls is it's, it's that 5% of the game right now, um, which a little bit of it's mental, but it's um, we give too many runs. And, you know, when you're playing up against a team like Concordia St. Paul, who, you know, have won national championships, that are, you know, ranked fifth in the country, and Mankato, who will probably be ranked um, this week, um, you can't give a team like that any type of run. You've got to stay right there with them. And, you know, we do a good job of turning points, but we have to eliminate – um, the points we give them and you know we have no problems if they're earning their points and putting them in the right spots but we kind of get a little bit mental at times where um, we'll, we'll blow three balls out of bounds or um, we'll shake a pass then miss a hit or something where we just kind of have that little mental um, lapse and, and that's right now has been the difference between walking out with the, the win and um, walking out with the hey we were right there to, to take it. Talk a little bit about your defense and kind of the play of Carly Coza. Um, you know, Carly Coza has been phenomenal this year. Um, she gets a little antsy, and we keep trying to get her just to stop her feet and stay in a neutral spot. Um, but I think what's really helped Coza this year is having Quinn Lillany, um, you know, and then Shay Peterson. Her defense has been awesome. Um, but having those three kind of be able to feed off of each other and, and Coza reali realizing now because she has two people who can really – um, help her. She doesn't have to do it all. Um, so now she's kind of been able to kind of stay in that back row, um, run the defense, but she knows that if it's going cross that, you know, Quinn's got it and Shay's got it on the right side. Um, you know, and Shelby's defense has gotten a lot better this year as well. Um, sh you know, Shelby's um, serve receive has gotten a lot better. And so that's helped a lot. So she doesn't have to feel like she's doing it all. This weekend's trip, Upper Iowa and Pomona. How do you feel about that matchup? You know, they're both ranked, um, but I like our chances um, against them. Um, we've always played these two pretty well. You know, um, Upper Iowa is very similar to where we're heading. You know, they were kind of in a similar boat a few years ago when they were rebuilding a team. Um, so when we kind of look at Upper Iowa, we see a lot of ourselves in them. Again, it's going to come down to we can't give them runs. Um, but I like how we're going to be able to match up with them with our block um, and how our defense is set up. Um, Winona, they're a, they're a big um, Midwestern team. Like they, they have some big blocks. Um, so we're looking at possibly running a 6-2 against them this weekend um, so that we can have more hitters in the front row against them. Um, but if we could get creative and be a little bit not as predictable on the offense that I feel like we could get those splits and that's what we're going to need. Um, but our serve receive, of course, has to be on this weekend um, and our defense has to keep giving us the opportunities. Um, and if we can continue to get a little smarter on the hitting and maybe not have that mental break, I do like the way we fit with these two teams this weekend. And for some reason, we play really well on the road. Um, 
this is a group of girls that, you know, most of the time you hate getting on the road because of the long trips. Um, but with this group, we have so much fun on the road and uh, the girls tend to really just bring it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. So uh, I think we match up well with them. And it's, it, again, it's the NSIC. It's going to be a dog fight regardless. How quickly can the girls adapt if you do end up switching to a 6 2? Um, you know, we've worked on it a little bit. Um, they work off both setters every day in practice anyway. So it's really not. And the good thing about it is, is when we run the 6 2, if it's not working, we could go back to the 5 1 very easily. Um, so we could make that switch, start with the 5 1, turn it into a 6 2. Um, and vice versa. So um, the girls have been, you know, worked on it a little bit. It's just making sure that um, we're prepared to use it if we have to. We just want to make sure that um, every tool in our bag is, is ready to be used.